My name is Jim Yaley. I work for J.H. Findorf & Son in Madison, and I'm a senior project manager. Right now, we're on the seventh floor of Meritor Hospital in Madison. This is the remaining shelled floor from the atrium addition that was done a few years back. The actual space we're in today is a mock-up space that we have created. We're showing things such as outlets, uh, the, the light fixtures, the ceiling, the actual physical space so that the staff doesn't have to just look at it on plan view but actually can come up, walk around, have a bed, different things in the space that are going to be there to really get a feeling for what the space will be like when built. We're working on a few projects here right now, one of which is an OR. The OR project is actually the first phase is now complete. There are actually eight more phases over the next three years that we're going to be doing to go into the existing ORs and kind of piece by piece, one by one, remodel those. We recently completed a new oncology inpatient unit and a general med surge inpatient unit. And then with mock-ups like you see here today, we're also planning for some future projects. Well, the one example that we saw today is we take about 10 feet of wall out we had to build about twice that amount of just temporary partitions. And then based on the duration of when you're gonna be there, have the area uh, certified that we can go inside and do that work just to take that out. Just for patient safety, particle counts, just different things with the infection control environment of working inside the hospital. What you'll see though is a clean air machine which will make that area negative. So any of the dust or particulate that we'd be making in there does not get out into the environment. Another un unique challenge that we have working in hospitals is material delivery. Taking materials in, taking trash and debris out of here. Uh, a recent example here at Meritor Hospital was for the 8th and 9th floor build-outs, um, the elevators that serve that area had a greater demand for patients and visitors than construction. So we ended up working on the exterior of the building. We brought in a crane and we'd hoist those materials up through a pigeon roost where we would have a landing platform on each floor where we'd bring the materials up. That would allow it so we wouldn't have the cross traffic of construction and patients or visitors in those elevators. In addition to the project coordinator that we'll work with here at the hospital, we also spend quite a bit of time with the infection control practitioner. In fact, Deanne around here is almost part of our crew. She, uh, we, we see her a lot. She has the power to shut down a job site. If she sees a condition or something going on, or maybe the environment changed for some reason, she will come in. She's in daily contact with our on-site supervision, and she has that power because that power directly relates back to patient safety.